Hi, it's uh, Daron Diamond, and uh, today I'm going to be reviewing the uh, Blackbird Rider guitar, uh, which is one of the coolest travel guitars on the planet um, in many different ways. And uh, yeah, here's the gig bag that it comes with, Blackbird Guitars, and uh, it's a very, very nice gig bag. And um, so I'm going to show you some of the things that I like most about the guitar and why I think it's special. First of all, it's got this nifty holder, so if you want to play in a classical style, you could set it on your leg like that, and it kind of gives the guitar an angle that you could play it at. I don't particularly play this style, but it's a really cool thing that it comes with, and that it has in, in case that is your style. So um, here's the guitar, and um, you can see it's got a sound hole right there, and it's got a sound hole here. And um, it's just, I don't know, it's very interesting. I've owned the, the cargo travel guitar and this guitar as well. These are the two travel guitars I've owned. And one of the, the immediate advantages to this one, I, I feel, and one of the things that drew me to it was the fact that um, it, uh, the um, spacing is, um, the scale, excuse me, the scale on the cargo is, I, I believe it's 22 and a half. And on this guitar, I believe it's a full 24 and a half. So basically what that means is this, this plays more, um, I guess, relatively to a full-bodied guitar. It's um, an easier adjustment to go from that to this as opposed to that uh, to the cargo. Um, so right now I'll just play a little bit. It's got a very, very full, rich sound. Here's here's a with a capo on the second fret, just to you know. It sounds great strummed, it sounds great picked. Um, basically it goes up, uh, you could play really high up on the neck, even though up here you'd think it would constrict you. It's got this cutaway over here, so playing high up is not a problem. stays remarkably well in tune, and um, it's got this really, really nice finish to it. It's kind of, well, <laughs> you can see just how glossy it is. You can see my computer screen, but um, it's got this really, really glossy finish to it. It kind of reminds me of the Rain Song guitars, and uh, it's made of carbon, of course, so it's very durable and uh, practically indestructible. And um, yeah, I just, I can't say enough positive things about it. It, uh, let me, um, I'll, I'll use a pick and show you what it sounds like with a pick. Uh, right here. And, And, um, yeah, as someone who's on both guitars, I mean, the cargo guitar is a great guitar too, but, um, the, the, the scale always got to me and, uh, I, you know, it made it hard for me to play sometimes and, uh, I just find this, this model really easy to play and frankly, I, I'm in love with the looks. I just think, you know, people see this guitar and they're just kind of blown away. They're like, wow, that looks like an art piece. <laughs> It holds its tuning remarkably well. Here's drop D tuning.
And yeah, so this is their, uh, the Blackbird Rider guitar, blackbirdguitars.com, and um, it's just, a, I highly, highly recommend it. It's my travel guitar of choice, and yeah, I just, it, you can get one with electronics uh, built in if you like to play live, or you can just get, the, this one's just standard acoustic, no electronics built in, and um, it's just, it's super light. I uh, forgot to mention that too, it's lighter than the cargo. I believe this is two and a half pounds versus the cargo's four, and um, it's very neck light too. The ne the neck is extremely light, and uh, so it, it's just, I don't know, it's very easy to carry around and take places with you, and um, anyway, that's the review. <laughs>